Hey guys, it's Jalisa back with another natural hair video. I am long overdue for a length check, so I wanted to sneak in a little blowout action so you guys could see how I actually blow out, stretch out my hair, and then we can dig straight into the length check. So I'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair and I put my hair in these little twists while I'm in the shower so it keeps my hair all going the same direction and tangle free. So I'm adding a little bit of this moisturizing cream from Orbe. I really like it because it's going to help to moisturize my hair and also to keep my ends really nice and sleek. And then I'm applying the Aveda Damage Remedy. It's just like a heat protectant and it also really helps to repair your hair from any damage. And then I like this Kristen S. This is a blow dry mist. I like the way it smells, but I also like that it helps your hair to dry a lot faster. I don't know what kind of technology that is, but it works. I use it. I like it. So I'm taking my Demon brush just to section off about a three inch section. And then I'm going to start blowing on a medium heat. This is just a T3 blow dryer, but you can really take any blow dryer uh, and on a medium heat. And I just start applying some tension and pulling downwards without ripping my hair and I find that gives me the best blowout result. I'm just taking the other piece from the same section and gently detangling, adding a little bit of the mist, tangling some more. You don't want to rip your hair and then again on a medium heat just applying some tension and making sure to really get the ends nice and smooth. So once I get it to my desired straightness, I'm going to apply some of this Whey Memory Mist. And it's a heat protectant, but it also helps to basically lock in your style. So this is really great also if you want to add it as a primer for curly hair because it'll lock in that curly style but I like this one for the blowout because it's going to lock in the blowout so just twisting it, putting it away and starting on another section. So what I'm about to do next is going to give me a lot of sleekness and a lot of shine. So I'm taking this dry oil mist and I love a dry oil mist because it doesn't have any water so your hair is not going to revert back. Then I'm going to brush out one quadrant of my hair, add some of the dry oil mist, especially at the ends where it's real nice and dry, brush it out and then I'm just going to twist it up into a bantu knot. And I did four of those all around my head. You could sleep in these overnight. Uh, you could leave it in for a couple hours. I left mine in for a couple of hours. And it's going to really give me like a nice soft wave. So I'm just wrapping around the base of the knot and then just taking any old dirty old scrunchie and uh, securing that into place. She's cute. Yes, we got Shake Shack. Yeah. Yum. Wow. Looking for a measuring tape, I would never ever disrespect that like this. One second. Wait, I need that milkshake? I need to get a milkshake. Let's get into the length check portion. Sorry, we're gonna get a lot of echo. This apartment is completely empty because I'm moving in and um, in two days. It's not in here, but a Shake Shack burger in my person. Uh, got the little measuring situation. Let's start at the back. Right, length. Let's do the very, very back. Let's do very like the napish area. Okay, so before we start, I'm actually just gonna let you guys, disclaimer, this, earlier this year, I had to get a really, I had to cut off maybe an inch or two because I had some mishandling of my hair from a hairstylist that did it and um, basically ripped out the ends, like just ripped the ends off. So I had to get it cut more even. Um, so yeah, I lost about an inch or two, disclaimer. 
I'm not mad about it anymore. Just like maybe we'll talk about it. So after the very end. At the very nape, uh, let's do maybe like a a middle, starting here at the root. Okay, so we're a little past ten here, maybe almost to eleven. Ten and a half. This is the middle back, and then let's do the top. I don't know if I'm left-handed or right-handed. Okay, so I get to this point, I'm gonna just let that go. So we're at nine inches here. This is the top, which I, oh my God, I had to cut so much. Like you can see, it was just ripped out, like literally ripped out. Cause you can tell like here where it's nice and fairly even, like there's some strays and things like that, but it's not as rough as this. Poor hair, I can feel it too. Okay, let's do the front. Okay, so let's start with the front like ear situation. Okay, and let that go. Then we're at eight. Nine, I would say eight where the bulk of it, I would cut off after eight. So eight inches in the very front. And then let's just do like maybe the top here where the bangs are near the part. And just for symmetric symmetry's sake, I'm gonna assume the other side is the same. Let's go right there. And here we're at about eight to nine whatever you want to call that. All right, so that's basically, that's on my length check. Let's take down the whole thing. So thick and happy, which is why I do not straighten it. I don't straighten it, I don't apply any heat pretty much, other than maybe like a blow dry every now and then. But it's been helping me to retain my length, and that's why my hair also isn't straightening as pin straight as it normally would. You guys saw in my other videos, like before I chopped the second time, basically, my hair used to be straight, like pin straight, and it was hella damaged, so. That's the trade-off. We're trading off pin straight hair for healthy, healthy natural hair. It's just growing and growing and growing and growing. Okay, so that's pretty much, that's my length check. What I'm just gonna end up doing is probably just wearing this for a little while, doing something with it, maybe like a um, braid out or something like that. And then it's right back to wigs for me because wigs and just keeping my hair kind of braided. Um, actually, yeah, wigs and braids are like my best my best bet because there's low manipulation. Um, I've figured out how to braid without, you know, being harmful to my hair. I figured out how to put wigs on without it being damaging to my hairline and all that stuff. So it's that until my hair gets longer. I want it to go at least to um, like armpit length before I start kind of straightening it uh, more regularly. And more regularly, I would need maybe like once a month. Maybe. Um, right now I'm straightening at the rate of once a year. So, we'll see what happens. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go eat my burger because I'm hungry. And uh, let me know what you guys, how you guys feel about your natural hair journey. And if you're not a natural vista, then do you want to be? Is this why you're watching this video? <laughs> so anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you next time.